Hello everyone, my name is Tom Pounder. I'm the online campus pastor at New Life Christian Church, and I'm also the co-host of the Third Chair Podcast, the podcast that I do alongside our friend Brandon Loveless. And we got to chat with a guy that we like to refer to as Santa Claus, especially in that time of Christmas, because he plays Santa Claus almost every Christmas time, and he shares about that in the story. But his name is Glenn Lettabor, and he's been attending New Life Christian Church for a really long time. And he's got a great story about what drew him to the Northern Virginia area, all the way from Texas into West Point, through the military, and back to Northern Virginia. How did he rediscover his faith? How did he meet the love of his life? And how did he get connected in the leading Bible studies? It's a fantastic conversation, and it's one that's going to really encourage you in your faith. So I'm going to share with you a teaser of it real quick, and I want to encourage you to click on the show notes and click on the link to the podcast platform of your choice, Spotify, Apple, or Amazon, and listen to the full episode there. Again, it is a great episode full of encouragement for you and your faith. So without any further ado, here's a teaser with Glenn Lettabor. So I went to West Point, and upon graduation, you have to join the Army. So interesting story about going to West Point was I went on a recruiting trip. So I hung around with all the football players, and they were as worldly as you can think. So I got up in front of my church, and I said, please pray for me because I have no idea what kind of spiritual situation there is up there. I go up there for the first summer, you know, plebe summer. My first Sunday there, I went to the Baptist Student Union after chapel, and the guy who was there had more stripes on his on his shoulder than I knew what to do because he, he was actually the first captain. He was the guy in charge of all the cadets. And he said, does anybody have guitar? I said, I have one, sir, but they made me put it in the storage room. He says, we'll change that. So later that afternoon, I get a visit from my platoon leader who says, I don't know who you know or what you did, but go down and get your guitar. 